So there's something called Kirchhoff's Laws. Um, remember, Chekhov was the navigator for the Starship Enterprise. Kirchhoff is totally somebody different. Okay. Now, there's there's two laws. The first one is the simplest one. It's called the I think it's called the junction law or the, or the currents or the something law, right? And so, if we look at this circuit, we could say that there's one current. I'm going to call it I1, for lack of a better. Right? And it flows into this mess and then it flows out. That guy's called I1. Okay? And then I1 splits off into two currents. Right? I'm going to call this guy I3 and I'm going to call this guy I2. And the first law is very simple and that is that I1 equals I2 plus I3. Right? So the first law says that for any junction the sum of the currents flowing into the junction equals the sum of the currents flowing out of the junction. Yes? Okay. So this is, this is just obvious. It's like conservation of matter, right? If the current flows in, then the current has to flow out, right? So I'm going to rewrite this one in terms in this way, right? I'm going to go negative I1 plus I2 plus I3 is zero. Am I setting up a matrix? Yeah, sometimes you can see the matrix, and sometimes you can't. But here, here you can, because it's just math, right? The next law is, they're called loop laws. And the law says this, if I start here and end here and I go around the circuit, the total change in voltage is zero. If I go all the way around, in other words, if I start here and go all the way around and end here, the total change is zero. And this is the same thing as saying that if we start on a cross-country run at a certain place, and we go and we go uphill and we go downhill, the total amount of hill up and down, if we end in the same place, is zero. zero. The total change in elevation is zero because we ended in the same place. Right? So if I do this and I go this way, this will be my first path. And basically what you want to do with this one, and this is some cleverness. There's some cleverness to this. You have to visit all parts of the circuit for this to work. But I'm going to call that loop number one. And in loop number one, we went up 31 volts, didn't we? So whenever you go this way across a battery, it's a plus. You're going from the negative side to the plus. That's a plus. And if we went the other way, it would be a minus. OK, we go down 31. And then every time you go downstream through a resistor, the voltage drops. It's like a waterfall, Shh, right? So it's minus 3I1, OK? Minus 13I2, minus 5I1, and that equals 0. So let's do that again. I go up 31, down 3I1, and then I'm on a different current. I'm on I2, so it's down 13 I2. And then I go down 5 I1, and I'm back where I started, right? That has to equal 0. OK. Now I'm going to rewrite this guy. Can't I combine the, um, oh, the I1s? So it's minus 8 I1, right? OK. And I'm going to rewrite this guy this way. Let's see, minus 8. I1, okay, minus 13I2 plus 0I3 equals uh, minus 31. Is that correct? I think so. And we could get rid of the minuses, couldn't we? If we wanted to. Are we good so far? So let's go for another walk through our circuit. Obviously, we have to do another loop. We need a third equation, yes? We have three unknowns. We need a third equation. Okay, so let's go for a little walk, and I'm going to go from here to here, like that, right? Now this is going to look very similar, right? I go up 31. Okay, I go down 3i1. And now I'm going to go, I'm just going to combine these guys, so I'm going to go minus 11i3. Uh, is that okay to combine the 5 and the 6? To make them 11 I3. And then I'm going to go down 5 I1. And I always do this. Whenever I do it, I always start just on one side of the battery so I don't forget the battery. Yeah? 
I2. Oh, because I didn't go that way. Notice that this loop goes this way and doesn't go down this way. Because uh, I already visited this part of the circuit. We're just making, we're just making, um, you could actually do a little loop right in here if you wanted to. I find it confusing, but, right? We're just trying to visit all parts of the circuit. Yeah? Okay, now this thing I can rewrite this way. Okay, I can go minus eight I1 uh, plus zero I2. Okay, plus, uh, let's see, I3 minus 11. So minus 11 I3 equals minus 31. And now, of course, we've got a matrix, don't we? That we can solve. Okay, so our matrix is um, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 8, minus 13, 0, minus 8, 0, minus 11, right? And this is times uh, I1, I2, I3, and that's because of these are I1, I2, I3, is that right? And they just slide like that, right? Okay, and then that equals 0 minus 31. Yeah? And then this is calculatable with our calculators, right? If this is A and this is B, then the answer matrix here is A inverse B. Is that right? And of course, the very best way to do matrices is with your calculator. You guys know how to do that, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to cheat, though, and I'm going to use, uh, yeah, enable the macros, right? Okay, matrix, there we go. Let's go to the matrix one. I need a three by three matrix. All right. If you guys have your calculators, you could, whoops. I just have these all made, so. Okay, so uh, we're minus one, one. It looks like circuits that we did, isn't it? Right? And then it's negative eight and negative 13 and zero and negative eight, yeah. Um, it's me, it's, I don't know, it's second matrix. Okay, and then our answers are, what are they, zero? Negative 31. So everything keeps changing, right? And now the question is, um, do we have, I recognize that as one of the currents. Do we have the, so this thing doesn't solve for the voltmeters, but if you know, if you know the currents, aren't the voltmeters just really easy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, is it right? Is, is there an ammeter on that first circuit? Let's just check our, our answers there. Piss switch. Okay, so that first one was 2.21 amps was that one. And 2.21 is what we got. And then that first branch is 1.01791. And there it is, right? And then we don't even have an ammeter over there, but that's okay. Yeah? The matrix, there was a matrix. It's like on the left hand side. Oh, there it is, right there. See it? Right there, second matrix. What? Yeah, we'll we'll set up another. You go you go uh, like edit, right? And then what? Oh, you've got it all set in. Okay, this one. Okay, so now you go. Now you go. Um, names. Okay, so so let's get out of here. Quit. Right, and then we 